Hello, welcome along to episode 67 of Adventures in Pop. My name is Simon Jacobs and um, well, you're very, very welcome. It's the middle of summer. Uh, we've just had a very hot day in London. We're about to have another very hot day. So it's kind of the middle of the night now. So I can actually sit in here with the door closed and talk to you. Otherwise, it just gets very hot indeed. Um, and talking of hot, um, today's conversation is really to um, bring to your attention the third rather fantastic single from Goldhawk Foxes, Hot Indeed, and it is called Going With The Flow. <laughs> Right, so what can we say about the third Goldhawk Foxes song? Um, well, a couple of things. I'm going to play you the video very shortly, so that's that's happening at the end of this, and we'll keep this um, brief and sweet. Um, going with the flow, okay, this is quite an early track in our uh, writing collaboration history. We did this pretty, pretty early on, at the point when we had just, I think we'd finished um, a few cover versions, which is quite um, fun. I think I've talked about this before. It was a quite an enjoyable little process doing some covers. And then we thought, you know, shall we have a go at actually writing an original track? That is, the we, by the way, is myself and CJ. Um, so we thought, you know, why not? Let's see if we can let's see if we do this. And um, one of the early results was this track, Going With The Flow. And um, uh, uh, what can I say? I mean, I think it happened quite quickly, quite naturally. There wasn't a great deal of, um, you know, angst or, or disagreement about um, words or melodies as it sort of came together. And then um, we didn't know each other that well at the time. I mean, my job then was to kind of take it away um, after we'd, you know, had a session and and not ruin it, I think. I think that was really what, you know, not clutter it, not make it sound like, well, not make it sound like everything else I've done, not fill it with stuff so that the production is just too big and overpowering, because after all, what we've got here is, you know, is a nice song with a very good voice. So, you know, you don't wanna, you don't wanna get in the way of that. Otherwise, I think, I think that would be, I think, well, I think that's probably against the law, actually, isn't it? To get in the way of a good voice. I don't think that's allowed. Um, so I try to keep it, you know, reasonably sparse. But, I mean, it isn't absolutely sparse, but reasonably spare. Give it some room to breathe and um, uh, and let it be the kind of loose-limbed track that it's supposed to be. So it's not a very fast song. It's just, It's just, you know, got a nice kind of... Um, naturally relaxed rhythm to it, as as you will hear. Um, so let me let me play you um, by way of just kind of giving you a, a, a kind of feel for it, just like what the the rhythm and the bass, just like the basic um, structure is from the beginning of the song, just give you a feel of you know the vibe of this thing. <laughs> So you can see, you know, it's kind of quite, quite cool, and um, it's, it does. It has a distinctive vibe, a distinctive sound to it, and um, you know, I didn't want to get in the way of that. Um, one of the things, okay, one of the things that I really, really like about the song, and I have to, I have to share this because um, it was a, a moment of quite great excitement, really. Well, CJ said to me at one point, "We need to have a little instrumental break." between this verse and this verse, I said, really? I don't think, I mean, that's a bit odd. And do we know, I mean, you know, no. So I put up, you know, the usual kind of defense of really, do I do, do you want to break it up? I mean, you're going to break momentum. You're going to not come into the second verse like so quick. I mean, do we, uh, is it, you know, we don't want to overstay our welcome, all that kind of stuff. Um, but I thought, look, okay, let's, let's see, you know, um, one has to go into this with, um, you know, with, with the will to find a compromise and to do something that you wouldn't have necessarily done yourself. So um, in one of the sessions that I was on my own, just kind of working out how to put the arrangement together, how to 
produce this thing, I went back to this idea of, you know, some kind of instrumental break between this verse and this verse. Um, and, and I thought, OK, well, you know, let's have a look at a sample that might sort of sit in there. Something interesting that's just going to grab the attention of the listener. Um, and what I found is, is probably my favourite thing from, that I've ever found to put into an instrumental break. And, and as soon as I found it, I put it in, I thought, oh, God, that is so good. And, and it's not really... You know, I, I can't take any credit for playing this thing. This is just taking a sample, finding the right place for it and thinking oh, that really, really works with this track. And I will play it to you now. OK, let's put that uh, now with the actual backing track, that lovely, gorgeous sound. So um, play that properly. Well, I do love that, uh, and uh, I think it helped kind of make the make the track, you know, well, just original, and also just keep that that um, that vibe going that is that is there, you know, consistently throughout the song. It's not a very long song, but you've got to you've got to you've got to honour that. What else can I tell you? There's a little there's a little sort of sound that pops up often in this song, which is not really. I don't know what I don't know what kind of instrument it is, but it's um I'm just gonna have a look for you now because it's something that um is is quite is quite noticeable in this, but it's it's uh, an odd thing. Um it's called butter. Have a listen to what butter does here. And with the track from the start. And uh, I think really the time has come for me to just play you the whole track. Now, what you'll see is a video here. So we sat down a week or so ago and worked out a whole video um, mo mostly made up of real um, bits of video clips that CJ's got on his phone and then we you know we augmented it with some other bits and pieces so um, I'm going to leave you with um, this the third single from Gold Hawk Foxes is out on I don't know what time you're going to be seeing this but it's out on uh, the 24th of June 2022 for those of you who are coming back decades later to check out that wonderful stuff um, and as I say, it's called Going With The Flow, and I hope you really enjoy it. And if you do, then share it with all your friends. And by the way, if you're enjoying the Adventures in Pop series, then why not follow and subscribe and 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 just come along for the ride? Because um, it's going to be fun. It's already fun, and there's going to be more fun. So uh, come, come with me. Thank you very much indeed for watching. Uh, I leave you with this rather fabulous song and this rather lovely video. Take care. Bye-bye. I've been going with the flow for way too long. I thought my confidence had grown, but the pull was way too strong. I should have listened to good advice when I was off the time. Should have turned around and run. I'm going to be free, free from this curse. But the problem's really me.
the flow Didn't stop to look around And didn't care where I would go Till the water nearly drowned But in my head I said I'm fine And I can say a while You don't see the danger when you're in the night to your friends but 